You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to check out a vintage item. I just recently got this at an estate sale. It was buried under some games and I thought, hmm, looks interesting. They actually charged more than I would normally pay for something like this. I think I paid $4.00 which is okay, but uh, I always like to get things like this for a couple dollars. It's not worth much, but for me it's more to show you on video something called the Blue Box Play and Spell, a fun and learn educational toy. Adds and subtracts, multiplies and spells. Very interesting. Now, the box itself was pretty dirty, so I'm going to just give it a quick wipe in here. This is how I found it. I will show you, you can't really see it, Let's see what we can get off the box here. It's got some spots, like brown spots. So that's what's on there. Can you see that? The toy itself is also a little dirty, so I'm going to be here to kind of go through it with you. All right, so let's see. What else can we find out about the box? It's made in Singapore. Blue Box Toys. All right, 6272. Can we get a year? Can we get a year? No, there's a number. No year. Uh, so what you're doing is you're actually just using your finger to turn this dial and there's three sections you pick from and those are what you can answer or not answer. There's basically the whole layout of the game. It took me a while to actually figure this out, but once I sat with it a little bit, I'm like, okay, I get it now. All right, so let's just get it out of the package. You'll see what I mean. Now this, this will not come out. There's like brown stains on it. But around the perimeter, here, let me flip this over. You see, this is a nice, clean section. There's this brown stuff. It's probably been in the box since it was originally purchased. I don't see much play with it. Now this, this could be a little more challenging. There's a groove there. Okay, you see, that's what's coming off. Now, I know there's all kinds of cleaning methods, vinegars, and natural methods. I'm kind of stuck on my Windex. I don't know why. It's, uh... I don't know. I just don't like the smell of vinegar. Okay, let's just give this a quick wiping here. And then I'll show you how it works. Like I said, it took me a while to really understand it. The instructions are on the back. But it's a pretty, a pretty neat little game board. Imagine now... I'm guessing 60s, maybe 70s. I don't see a year. Yeah, that doesn't clean off. All right, so here's the instructions. I'll read it to you. Teach yourself spelling. Select a picture on the face of this board. Open the answer window in the section of the board from where you have chosen the picture. Turn the dial until the picture appears in the window. Study the spelling of the word in the picture and then close the window. Now play and spell. To start, always point the start arrow to the finger guide above the number three window. Put your finger in the dial opposite to the first letter of the word. Turn clockwise until you hit the guide. Continue to dial the other letters of the word that open the answer window. If you have spelled the word right, the picture and the word you have selected will appear in the window. To start, always point the start arrow to the finger guide above the number three window. Okay, so there's an arrow, and then there's the start. Now, this is kind of long. Okay, so that's the start. Put your finger in the dial opposite to the first letter of the word. Opposite to the first letter of the word. All right, let's just take a look here. Let's open this. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Okay, so there's nothing in any of the windows right now. So that is for sure your starting point. So we want to turn the dial to a picture appears in the window. Study the spelling of the word in the picture and then close the window. Okay, let's just see. Let's hat. That's simple enough. I'm looking at the word hat. H-A-T. Okay. That's what we want to spell. Okay, we did that. Now, play and spell. To start, always point to start arrow to the finger guide above the number three. Okay, the finger guide above the number three. This one's a little sticky, I noticed it. Can't see, sometimes it doesn't slide every time. There we go. 
So let's bring this back. Imagine doing this at night. Okay. So there should be nothing in the pictures. Yes. All right. Good. Now, put your finger in the dial opposite to the first letter of the word. Okay. So the first letter of the word of hat is H. So is it this way to the V? Okay. So we probably start on the V. Turn clockwise until you hit the guide. Continue to dial the other letters of the word. Put your finger in the dial opposite to the first letter of the word. Turn clockwise until you hit the guide. Continue to dial all those words and open the answer window. If you spell the word right, so it's not always opposite, or you're just using your dial. See, that's why it gets confusing. H. So do I keep going opposite? A. T. Opposite would be here. And then this should be hat. Okay, it's down. All right, see what I'm saying? You have to be a scientist to play this. And it gets stuck a lot. So let's just keep the window open. Okay. Pick the first letter opposite. Okay, H. H. H is the V. Now I'm just going to do the letters that are there. A. And then T. Oh, there's the hat. I didn't do it, but there's the hat. See what I'm saying? That's very confusing. Now, let's try another one. Check your spelling memory. Choose a picture from one of the three sections on the board. Set the dial to start with the arrow pointing to the finger guide. Dial each letter as you spell the word. Teeny, turn each letter dial all the way to the right until your finger stops at the guide. If your spelling is right, the picture and the word you have chosen will appear in the window in the section in which you made your choice. Example, choose a section three word if you pick boy. Okay, let's pick boy. Section three, down here. Boy, let's get this to start. Okay, there, okay. So we are picking boy, all right? Now it says, let's see, choose section, if you pick boy, set the dial at start, dial B, dial zero, dial Y. Okay. Dial B. Dial O, did I say zero? And then Y. That should be the boy. And that is, okay. So that one worked. Now it's a little off, but that's okay. Let's try a math problem. Okay, math. Simple arithmetic. Addition, subtraction, or multiplication. Choose a problem from one of the three sections. Now try to think out the solution of the problem by yourself first. Now to begin, find out the answer by setting the dial at start. Dial each number and each symbol in the problem. Then open the answer window in the section you have chosen to see if you are right. Choose a section two problem. If you choose two times three, okay, then you would dial two then the times, then the three, then the equal, all in the same way, the right answer will appear in section two. Okay, section two. Now it's not gonna do any math problems, only the math problems they give you here. So two times three. So two times, don't forget where your finger was, three equals, Nothing. Hmm. Let's try that again. I don't know. I thought I did it right. I might have been a little off with my fingers. I don't know. Let's see. Two. So it's kind of weird. I guess maybe I put there. So two times three. Because if you're off just a little, it won't work. Equals. I think I went past it. Let me bring it back to that. Let me just leave it open. What's that? My finger must just be bigger than a little kid's finger. Okay, two, which I guess is here, times three equals. It's got to be close now. Three, four, no, five. Six. So it's, it is there. It's right under the star. 
So if I'm just a little bit off like I was, I had to hear it the first time, you didn't see it. All right, let me see if I, let me do this. Let me see if I get it right in there so you can look at it a little bit closer. All right, here's a better look at the little window. Now they should stay closed until you're ready to reveal, but I'm leaving that open. While I'm here, let me just show you the other pictures. I've been pondering on the, what they're trying to tell you on that other instruction. The obvious must be that I obviously am misreading it, or maybe there's something else wrong. What do you think? Maybe the word opposite. See, the word opposite to me would be if you're here, this is the opposite, but maybe opposite of the letter. What do you think? Because spelling, oh, what do we have? Bicycle, hat. Now this is a pen, it's an ink pen, but it's a pen or a fountain pen. Scissors, zebra, cowboy, lamp, lamp way up here. Butterfly, that would be a long one to spell. Phone or telephone, you don't know. Duck, now is that a sandwich? Yes, I guess so. Spool, hammer. Now if you had a long time, you can test them all to make sure saw. I'll tell you what though, okay, so that's pretty much everything. Did you get a good look at that? Here, I'll give you one larger look at the whole board. And then let's zoom in here like I promised you. So let's do, let's do a uh, subtraction problem. Seven minus four. So we start here, we go to the seven. Seven. Minus is like on the M, minus. Four is kind of on the D. I'm a little bit off on the circle and then equals. It's gonna be close. Seven minus four equals three. Okay, so that works. Right. Let me take a look at this again. I'm really pondering on this. Because if you're just spelling, look. Put your finger in the dial opposite to the first letter of the word. So opposite to the first letter of the word. So if we're going to pick, uh, let's pick uh, something, boy. I believe that's boy. I'm not sure. Basket saw. Let's just do saw. So you start this back, right? And now you want to do saw. So opposite would be here, but I think they're just saying spell it like you normally would opposite the letter. So it would be just a regular S. I think I'm, I think I'm overthinking. A, W. Don't take your finger off the dial. Okay, so that's what I think they're saying. Don't you? I'll let you read it one more time. I think to us, opposite to the first letter of the word. Hmm. Maybe adjacent. I think that sounds better. Because you're just doing this, but they're trying to teach you for spelling in a different way, right? right let's do it. While we're here, I wanted to give you that close-up, so let's do a close-up of this section. Uh, 10 minus 6 equals... All right, let's close. All right, 10. Where's the 10? 10 minus 6. See, it's kind of in between. Equals. Equals, equals, equals. Did we get it? 10 minus 6 equals... No, we didn't get it. I'm probably off just by a little. There we go. Yeah, I was off just by a little. So you got to have that dial just right. I did say maybe here. Let me try a pen. Kind of fit my finger. I'll take the just the back of the pen like this. Then it'll hit differently than my finger. All right, let's try another one. This section. Let's see. Bone. Let's spell bone. Bone. Okay. B. O. N. E. Bone. Ah, how perfect is that? All right, so that's what I'm kind of thinking is going on there. I guess sometimes I overthink, and the obvious is it's obviously a wording issue. Put your finger in a dial opposite to the first letter of the word. Well, I think you get it. Oh, there was a play with a friend there. You can use this educational toy to challenge your friends to spell a word to solve a problem. The one who gets more correct answers wins for two or more players. Set the dial at start only at the beginning for the first letter of each word or the first number of each problem. For the remaining letters or numbers, do not reset to start. Just continue dialing until you have finished. I think that's what they're saying there. So I obviously don't know what's going on. Okay, let's do nine times one. Ooh, that's a good one. Nine times one. Let's see, nine. Oh, not using the pen. 
times one equals nine times one equals nine. I got it right. Woohoo! All right. A fun and learn educational toy. It sure is fun, and I had to learn, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I guess you probably will tell me what you think. Opposite, opposite, adjacent, next to, or just follow the section here to solve, or give us the example, which they didn't. All right, I'm overdwelling on it, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Hopefully you, maybe you had one of these as a kid. Let me know, and thanks for watching as always. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.